Good day, and welcome to Asia Military News. Today, we have some exciting updates from Australia. Apart from the much-talked-about nuclear submarine deal with the US and UK, the Australian Army and Royal Australian Air Force are set to receive cutting-edge weaponry. Let's dive in. The US State Department has approved the sale of 255 FGM, 148 F Javelin anti-tank missiles for the Australian Army and 63 AGM, 88G advanced anti-radiation guided missile extended range for the Royal Australian Air Force. The Australian Army seems to be taking lessons from Ukraine's experience in fighting Russia's invasion, where anti-tank and anti-radiation missiles played a crucial role in defeating enemy capabilities. In addition to this, Australia is also procuring Hamas rocket launchers and other capabilities that have also seen action and success under Ukrainian hands. All of these developments are in line with Australia's assessment that a conflict in the region is inevitable. It seems that Australia is gearing up for any possible threats and is leaving no stone unturned. However, this assessment is not shared by everyone. Many in the Philippines are still not accepting the possibility of conflict and are delaying in improving the AFP's capabilities. That's all for today's update. Stay tuned to Asia Military News for more updates on the latest developments in the region.